Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your new Keurig K Supreme Plus Smart coffee maker released in July of 2021 to your smartphone. I'm going to show you how to download the app. We're going to connect your uh, Keurig machine to Wi-Fi. I'm also going to be doing detailed reviews on this, how to brew K-Cups. I just did a review on how to set it up for the first time. It does come with a water filter. filter. There is a little bit of setup there. I did an unboxing video. But this thing is packed full of features. So I'm going to have several videos on this. This one will be dealing with just how to connect the Wi-Fi. So it's one of the first steps. It talks about on the back of your Keurig machine, there's a QR code. And we're going to scan it. we got to download the app. And then we're going to connect it. So for this, you can use your, your phone. But you got to turn your camera on. Now, if you're, you got to make sure that when your camera reads Q, QR codes, that a thing pops up, and that's in your settings. So if your phone is not uh, designed to, um, this is an Android phone or Samsung. So there's a setting in there that I got to turn on. So when it sees a QR code, it'll it'll pop up a little link. So you got to make sure your phone is is its default usually set up that it will recognize QR codes. But sometimes people turn it off. See, I've got a button, scan QR codes, it's on. And that was in the camera settings. So I click this little, little gear. I've got, the, I've got the, I'm in camera. And I click the little gear. And again, this is a Samsung. I think an Apple's pretty close to the same. Okay, so I'm gonna try to show you. See, it says, now I click the link. It should take me to the web page. Okay, so it's gonna take you to the app page. There's the app. So this is, if, if you don't wanna use the Keurig, the QR code, this is the official app. It's Keurig Green Mountain Incorporated. Hit install. Okay, so it took a little bit to install. Here's the app. I'm gonna say get connected. Okay, so don't have an account. Okay, so it looks like you do have to create a Keurig account, which I have one. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to do this without creating a, an account. Okay, so I signed in. Now I've got this page. It says link your brewer. Make sure your brewer is plugged in. Follow the prompts on your brewer until you see waiting for connection screen. Then tap, then we're going to tap this link button. So in the meantime, my brewer went to sleep. I've still got it plugged in. There's no power button. I think you just hit a button and it turns on. Okay, so it says Wi-Fi not connected. So it's got this button. I'm gonna. Okay, so you gotta press that little arrow. Not super straightforward, but you gotta press that little arrow. Download the Keurig and hit connect. So I've got it downloaded. Connect, waiting for connection. It says when I see that waiting for connection, hit the link button. I've got to allow, use my location, that's okay, while using the app. So it looks like it's searching for the device. I am on Wi-Fi. I'm on my home Wi-Fi. So make sure your phone is on your home Wi-Fi. Connect. It found the Keurig. I assume that's mine. This one just still says waiting. Linking Brewer. This is exciting. This is super exciting. I am so excited about this Keurig machine. Waiting for connection, follow prompts in the app. Brewer link it says one step left. Not sure which, okay, loading available networks. This is where you select your Wi-Fi and then you uh, are probably gonna give it a password. Yeah, once I clicked my Wi-Fi, I gotta give it my Wi-Fi password. Okay, I'm gonna hit okay. This is still saying that. It says you're almost there. Connecting your brewer. Other than that little hiccup there at first, where the, but it is kind of intuitive. You know, the only light that was lit was that little arrow. Connecting the brewer. So this seems to be taking a little bit. Okay, it says Wi-Fi connected on here. Congratulations. This says success. So that took a couple minutes. 
I'm going to hit continue over here first. Got my little Wi-Fi light is lit and I'm going to click OK. Looks like you can go through some few tips. I, I like these tips. You know, take the time to read those. Those are usually pretty good tips. Hit next, next, recommended, choose your cup size. You know, a lot of this isn't going to make sense to us right now. We just don't know much about the machine. But there's a, like a big K button on this app. All right, there it is. Exciting, exciting. Press and hold to power. Okay. So here's the app. Again, I'm, I guess I can change the size. I can do a classic brew. Wow, these are sliders. They got little detents. Oh, wow, this, this seems really nice. <laughs> Then you can add a heart. I want to say this is my test. Create a favorite. Oh, wow. They've completely changed the game. Wow. I just saved a my brew style. I don't know what that is. Breakfast blend. Okay, that maybe has something to do with everything I've added. This still says I've got the Wi-Fi light is lit. That's awesome. Let's um, let's put a cake up in. Let's play around. This is so exciting. Our right, first cake up. Brew ID. It says. Never seen that before. Does it recognize it? Oh, look at that! It popped up here. Pike Place Roast. Oh, it gives you recommended settings. Eight ounce balance. So it pretty much gave you the settings. I can change those. I don't know how yet. I can hit the big K button. Huh. Super excited. Let's hit let's hit it on here. Check your mug. That's nice. Make sure I've got a mug. Hit continue. Wow, look at that. Remote brew in progress. Game changer. <laughs> Anybody that's had cure eggs knows that these these cure eggs had nothing to do with smartphones or nothing. They were all button presses. This is completely different. Now you still have that old functionality. But wow. You can tap to cancel the brew. Pike Place Rose Brewing, your perfectly personalized cup. Looks like I can even turn the brewer off. So originally I thought this QR code on the back here was gonna be more important. That pretty much just draws you to the app. So if you're, if the app doesn't come up when you use your phone or if the, the link doesn't come up, just go to the app store and download the app yourself. So I, and I originally thought you were gonna have to kind of scan that with your phone to kind of do the link, but somehow it did the link. Okay. Screen changes, enjoy your perfectly personalized. Yeah, they're really gonna push this smart auto delivery. You can save some money, but you have to drink a lot of coffee. I've done the math on this. Um, it, it, you will save some money, but you gotta drink a lot of coffee. Maybe later. Just, I know this is the first time, this is the first time you can schedule a brew. You can treat this like a coffee maker now. Um, you can set a time, put your cake up in, put your water in, you know, and then you wake up in the morning uh, and brew your cup of coffee for you. And it'll be there waiting. Now, now, granted, remember, coffee cools off really quick. So let's see how it did. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. Brew ID. There's nothing in there, so it'll probably sense that. No pod detected. Yep. All right, let's go back. I can turn the machine off. Up, oh, there goes the machine. Sweet. Let's see. Can I turn it back on? I can turn my machine on from my phone. That's awesome. You can change that, this. Favorites. Yeah, I just got to play around with this, but you're connected. It's connected to Wi-Fi. 
I'm gonna have to do a whole separate video on controlling it with your smart home devices. So your speakers, like your your Google Nows and your Alexas and all that. I don't wanna say it too loud, but um, yeah. Fun stuff, fun stuff. That's gonna do it for this video. I've got several videos coming out on this. Um, check out my unboxing. I did a setup on how to set the water filter up for the first time. And you would have to do a rinsing brew, which it kind of walked you through that. And then this was just how to set the Wi-Fi up. I'm going to do another video on all the different... Uh, when I go through this and figure this out, I'll do a video on the app. Because I'm sure there's a... This looks like a really nice app. So thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.